everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ali. I hope you're all doing well and are staying safe. So today I wanted to share some troll beads designs with all of you. These two, I've worn them separately and I've worn them together. They're predominantly blue and white. And this one right here, the foxtail bracelet design, this one was inspired by these gorgeous um, brush of blue beads that I found recently. These are the Troll Beads Day 2019 beads. Um, and I just am so, so happy that I finally found a couple. So let's get started with this bracelet design first. Um, the lock I have on here is this one, and this is the Hidden Beauty clasp. And I love the pearl detail on it, and that's why I went with this, because I thought the pearl would um, complement the blue and white porcelain beads. So that's the lock I went with. And then I have one spacer on here. This is the Sweet Berries spacer. And then this one is a gemstone. This is the Chalcedony, and this is the faceted version. This one is uh, the Vine Brush uh, porcelain bead, and it is so pretty. I love the blue and white, really do. This one is the Forget Me Not I love this bead too. This one was a gift from Linda um, at Lesson 2. So yeah, there's that one. This is another gemstone. This is one of my first gemstones. This is the Lapis Lazuli. This one right here is Thumbelina, and I think it needs a little bit of cleaning because it's looking darker than it usually does, but I do love the oxidized look to it. I just think I need to take a polishing cloth to it to shine it up just a little bit, but I love the details on her. I love her little face and then all the flowers and leaves. It's a really pretty bead and it's pretty big. This one is my other brush of blue bead. This is the chrysanthemum brush, and it's a beautiful, beautiful bead. And here is the little, I want to say a honeybee. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know. It's just some kind of critter, and I love that detail on it. This one is the milky quartz, and then I finished it off with the lush meadow silver bead. So this is the first um, bracelet design that I wanted to share with all of you. As I said, this was uh, inspired by the two brush of blue beads that I have. This bangle design um, I created a few weeks after this one. Uh, and they just, you know, they just match so well that I have worn them together. This particular bangle design was inspired by this beautiful unique. This is a faceted unique that I bought at the grand event that Troll Beats Texas had uh, last month. And it is just so, so beautiful. So let's get started. The bangle I have it on is the star bangle. And then these two uh, stoppers on here, they are not actually troll beads. Um, they're from Mores, but they work really well on this bangle. Then this little silver bead is called Birds of a Feather. This one right here is the birthday bead, I want to say for 2019, I think, the blue one. But I was able to buy this on the Troll Beads e-store, I think. Um, they were selling this one. Uh, and this is the only one I've ever seen them sell on the Troll Beads e-store. So, um, you know, yeah. The other birthday beads that I have, I've had to purchase, or I, I didn't purchase them. I purchased the minimum uh, that you need to spend in your birthday month in a single transaction, and I got those for free. This is the only one that I bought from the e-store. Um, this is the unique, as I said, that I bought at the grand event and uh, the inspiration behind this design. Then this one, the silver bead, I love this. It is so different from all the other troll beads that I do have. And this is called Smile of Stars. And you can see there's like stars in the middle and it's kind of like a barrel bead 
and I love that you can you know put two glass beads or the go rounds or the pearls work even better because they sit better in this curve of the bead and I think the glass beads also look nice this one is um, this one is called the harmony facet and again love the different blues and the white and the faceting this one is called the attention bead and this has hues of blue and green in it and a little bit of sparkle and then this one is called the quiet flower so this is the bangle design and i do really think that these two work really well together so these two were the first ones that I wanted to share. I have two more bangle designs. This is the first um, of the second lot of designs that I wanted to share with you. Um, this is on the heart uh, bangle from Troll Beads. And again, uh, these stoppers are from Morez. Um, I find that this bangle is thinner than Troll Beads um, other bangles and uh, not you know a lot of the spacers that i have from troll beads are loose on this one there's a few that work really well on this one the mandala spacer works really well on this um the chili spacer also works really well on this but um yeah i think since this is thinner the other ones they're slightly looser and i'm always afraid that they'll slide and i might lose my beads and so these Morez ones uh, fit really, really well on this one. And so that's what I'm using. Then this silver bead on here is called the on top bead. And then nestling in the on top bead, I have the Malachite gemstone. This is the life circle bead. And I love this. I, as you can see, I have two of these and I love using these to space out the glass beads. It works really, really well this one is a unique that i got and this is so so different i love the colors on it the um, yellowish orange base and the green and the blue and the pink flowers on top of that it's so very different and i love this so this is the bead i started with and then i built um this design around this bead this is the strawberry quartz um, again, you can see the green of the malachite pulls the green in this bead and then the light pink, almost lavender flowers that it has, the strawberry quartz picks that up. And then this is Wings of Amber. This was the Troll Beads Day bead of 20... 17 or 18? I don't remember right now. Um, but this is an amber and again it picks up that base in this unique so this is the first bangle design i love the vibrant colors of this and yeah so this is the first one and then the second bangle design that i wore with this one is this beauty and again this one also uses a lot of uniques these two beads uh glass beads on here these are uniques that i got this one has this white base and then these purple and um mustard colored uh detailing on top of it which looks like flowers but it's a very geometric design and then this one is the most recent one that i got and i love this it's so soft the base the glass is um you know almost light lavender in color and then on top of that you have the bigger white petals of the flower and then on top of the white petals you have the smaller lavender petals this silver bead is called the indian crest it's a very substantial silver bead and i really love the details on it that's the back on the back you only have one bud um, and on this side you have the two and then this one is a Shades of Sparkle bead. This is a diamond bead. This came out last year and this is the peach color. And so it has the peach and the pink um, half and half. And yeah, and this is on the star bangle again. And these spacers are from Troll Beads. These are their plain silver spacers. And so, yeah, these two, I feel, work really well together, the colors, and I've used a lot of uniques in these two bangles. And so, 
yeah, these are some of the designs that I wanted to share with all of you. I love changing out um, my designs on my troll beads, bracelets, and bangles, and um, I love sharing them with you. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing, and I'll see you in my next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye.